Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be going through Act 7.2, Quest Number 5. All right, and I'm going to show you the path that I took for my initial clear, the path that I think is the easiest path. And it's going to seem a little bit like a rerun because there's another energy adoption path in this quest. So if you've been watching my series here, you know that energy adoption paths are easily cheesable with a few champions, Ghost being the primary one that I like to use. Okay, so here you go. You see uh, energy adoption lightning. We kind of ignore the other stuff because they really don't matter. And for the most part, I use Ghost. Now, for energy adoption, you can generally use Havoc. You could also have brought in, since it's energy adoption uh, lightning, you can bring in a shock immune champion. Uh, they can work on this. See, I got hit a little bit. Um, but Ghost is just like perfect for this path. And so I use her. Now, there is one fight that they made sure uh, you wouldn't want to use Ghost for, and that's against Hulkbuster. Back in the day, Hulkbuster was no problem for Ghost, but now he does armor breaks and all kind of other stuff without even touching her. So she's not a good option for that. And for that, I brought in El Diablo. And I use El Diablo for that Hulkbuster. But I use Ghost pretty much for all the other fights because she just rocks. And then for the boss, I believe I ended up using Warlock. So uh, I'm going to get out of your way because you're going to see, especially if you've watched uh, my previous videos, you've already seen Ghost just destroy energy adoption. It's the same thing over and over. Uh, like I said, the Hulkbuster fight, that's with uh, Diablo. And I'll come back uh, for the boss fight and talk to you a little bit about that boss fight, which was pretty easy. Pretty easy. All right. So I'll be right back.
All right, so as you can see, I chose Platinum Pool uh, to deal with initially because he was the easiest. Warlock is a great counter for this Platinum Pool. Uh, you can see the active buffs, Smorgasbord, draw five cards, and Juke. Basically, what you want to do is you need to deal with that regen. Well, Warlock, when he gets his infections up, can deal with that regen. Platinum Pool is not going to be regening. Uh, after that, it's pretty much a straightforward fight, okay? You saw my overflow a little bit there. Um, always got stuff expiring. But in any case, that is what you want to do when you're fighting this Platinum Pool. Uh, I have not obviously gone in here with anyone else. So... Uh, I just know that Warlock is a great counter. Now, if you have someone that can stop the regen, uh, I don't know if Void Void will probably do well here also, uh, or anyone that has some ability to stop that regen. Okay, now the Juke is important unless you want this to be a really long fight. Uh, I want you to notice the Furies that I'm stacking up. I'm stacking those up by alternating my ending attack. That's what Juke does. So I had to really concentrate here and remember, because it doesn't tell me, uh, what I last ended my attack with. All right, so you see I have four uh, Furies up there. Now, one of the easiest ways to do this, uh, just so you don't have to remember is once you concentrate and you build up the furies like you see me doing alternating my ending attacks um don't do five hit combos anymore okay um but i have trouble sometimes remembering that so you see i built up to 10 furies that's the max uh i believe that's the max and at this point i'm doing great damage I just need to um, do like, you know, three hit, four hit combos like that, uh, that you see me doing there. Three, four, back off. That's it. Okay. And just to keep up the, um, the, the infections, uh, you want to manage that or else he's going to heal and the fight will be even longer. So I want to weave in some uh, parries and everything. Um, but right there, I messed up. I got too happy because I was about to do a special. And I usually do a five hit combo into a special. And when I did that, I was like, dang it. Because the fight should have been even faster. But no problem. As you can see, it's not really a big deal. It just means that the fight's going to be a little bit longer. So now I'm building up the Furies again. But that's pretty much the fight. As you can see, Warlock is made for this fight. Okay? And you see there, this time, I did not uh, mess up. But then I did. Um, sometimes I'll either get distracted or my inputs will just not be there. Uh, I'm not sure which happened there. Um, but... I might have been looking up to try to uh, see which, uh, how many Furies I had. Okay, you see there, I've got nine now. Now we're back up to 10. But the fight's almost over at this point. Three, four, back off. Now, you can do five hit combos if you want to, but you need to remember what your last uh, attack was. And boom, he's down. Very straightforward. Very, very easy with Warlock. I would even bring in a five-star Warlock if you have one. Okay, very, very, very easy um, boss to fight, uh, at least with Warlock. Uh, even though I messed up a few times, you know, this was still uh, probably the easiest fight that I had uh, so far. All right, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hopefully, this video helps you out in your initial clear. Take care, and you all have a blessed day.